and I'm gonna be going through my vault with off top. Okay, so let's start. The beat playing when you turn on your Dreamcast. Oh, okay, so like a, like a video game beat. I definitely have something like that in here. Oh, maybe this one. I really don't know who would get on this beat, honestly. <laughs> Is this like a, a Dreamcast type of vibe? Yeah, okay, that's good. Yeah, like I can see Sonic running around doing something to this, you know? A beat that defines kimchi. That's actually really hard because I feel like I make so many different types of beats and I'm like always evolving what I like, but probably one of my favorite beats is this beat. I made this melody and so I'm really proud of it. And then I love the drums that um, Oogie and Pluto did on them. Like, I feel like the bounce is just so different from like normal shit, but it's still hella bouncy. Like, I feel like the melody has like a mysterious vibe, you know what I mean? <laughs> But yeah. All right, let's see what's next. In the studio with Glorilla and Sexy Red. Hmm. Okay, I could just search it, I forgot. I'm working on time. Perfect for them. She'd be like, sexy. <laughs> That's the one for sexy red and glorilla. We love them. A beat that people would be surprised you made. Hmm. Let's see. Oh, this one. <coughs> this one's super different. It's kind of like like the Brazilian funk vibe. Like Doom Cha Cha. <laughs> dancing to it was like called like two barrel or something they were like <laughs> and I was like wait I wanna make a beat like this but yeah I need to get someone on this beat I just don't know any like artists like that yeah I feel like I think there's like a guy beatboxing in the background of the loop and he's like doing chips <laughs> That one, I feel like that's a surprising beat. Nobody really expects that from me. A beat that would scare the hoes. <laughs> I knew y'all was gonna ask this because I watch every episode. I'm pretty sure y'all asked that to everybody. So let's see. Um, I actually make a decent amount of hoes scaring beats, but I feel like this one is like pretty. This is they, the hoes would be like, um, I'm leaving. <laughs> like. Is this scary? 
don't know. We need to figure it out. But yeah, let's just do the next one. A beat that sounds like a beat that sounds like a mushroom trip. Hmm. You know, I've actually never done mushrooms, so I don't know. Something maybe really trippy and like. Here, actually, I might have something. Maybe. Yeah, I feel like you could take some mushrooms with my lots of it. <laughs> in the studio with every member of Opium. Um, hmm. I definitely have a beat for that. I have this beat with Armand. He makes a lot of beats for those guys. Yeah, I feel like every member of Opium would like this beat. I don't know what else to say about that. Yeah. It's just a hard ass beat. Okay, next. A beat inspired by Clams Casino. Okay, I have a, a good beat for this. It's called Cruiser, I think. Because it got a lot of those vocal chops. Like how Clams Casino be doing. What falling in love sounds like. Oh, that's so cute. What a cute prompt. Let's see. I feel like that would be something like maybe this one. I'm working on dying. Me and Adiba made this. She's another female producer, so it's only two girls on the speed, no guys. Kendrick and Keem's next single. 
Oh, okay. I was just listening to like Baby Keelan on the way here. <laughs> Should I play big balls in my face? <laughs> I feel like that, that could work. Yeah. Wait, what? <laughs> oh. <laughs> but yeah, I feel like the reason this beat hasn't gone place yet is because of its name. It's called Big Balls in Your Face. I was like in a crazy mood apparently. But yeah, I could hear them on this. I love the snare I used, like how it has that little tone in it. I feel like it just adds so much. Big balls in your face, you know? <laughs> That's how this beat sounds. Sometimes you just gotta drop the balls on their face. <laughs> okay, let me chill. Okay, sorry. Next one. In the studio with SZA and Pink Panthers. Hmm. Wait. Okay. So I feel like maybe it could be this. I made the seat from scratch as well, so I'm proud of it. Single for Rema and Tyla. Oh, okay, love that. I have like a bunch of Afro beats in here, so let's try this. I think I only tagged one though. <laughs> ah, okay, this one's good. I've been super into like Afro beats lately. Just love that that vibe they have. Makes me want to dance. Yeah, I made this with Mosaic. He be making fire like guitar loop. It's crazy. Okay. Last one. Okay. A beat that sounds like the color pink. Oh. Okay, this is my pink beat. It's definitely giving me a pink, like a sparkly pink, maybe a hot pink. And it also gives me like a lollipop vibe, like. I don't know. <laughs> That's just a silly little beat. <laughs> Look, the little picture here is even pink when I uploaded it. I guess that's my last, my last beat. That was super fun, honestly. I feel like I would definitely love to like see more producers do this and see what kind of beats everybody got. And yeah, loved it. Make sure 
You keep tuning into Off Top. <laughs> okay.